Hey folks, Mac T here, and I have the oil test results from the Shell Rotella gas truck SUV 5W30 that I ran in my 3.5 Duratec Ford Edge 2011 model year with a lot of miles on it. So let's go ahead and go over these oil test results real quick. Don't forget, join up Mac T Ford Edge on Facebook. That's right, join up there and uh, come help the group grow almost 5,000 members so let's jump on up there that is the best place you're going to find information on Ford Edge Lincoln MKX also got Mac T Garage on Facebook that's for all other vehicles so if you have Chevy's Dodge's Chrysler's Toyota's whatever they are go over to the Mac T Garage on Facebook and join up there and don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel Mac T Ford Edge and also have the Mac T Garage YouTube channel, so check that out. You might find something interesting. But starting out, we had the Shell Rotella, and what I did is I ran that oil 238 hours, which equaled to 11,833 miles. They're mostly highway miles now. This was an extreme torture test on this oil, so we went ahead and did that, and you know what? Uh, excuse me, and uh, I ran that oil to the oomph degree that it could go, okay? Uh, test results will tell us I could have, you know, maybe I could have gone further, well, let's find out. But basically I bought a five quart jug, I had to buy more than that, but I got it at uh, Blaine's Farm and Fleet for $25.99 for that 5W30 jug. And the lab here says that the results shouldn't come as a surprise to me, because by now I'm accustomed to low wear levels from my 3.5 Duratec, and the beat goes on after another 238 miles of oil use. Low wear is good, but the consistency you've got from one sample to the next is nothing to sneeze at either. The 1.6 TBN is also consistent with the last test sample, which was the Max Oil Pro Max Nano Plus 5W20. And uh, the active ingredients in the Rotella isn't quite used up so they said they're confident I can go another 50 hours on it if I wanted to and the viscosity is well within its range well the reason I didn't go another 50 hours is because I end all my tests at the one quart low mark or at the set prescribed hours whichever comes first uh, the the nano plus oil made it to 250 hours it did not get a quart low that was a 5W20, mind you. Uh, the Shell Rotella burned off faster. The 530 ran down a quart low at 238 hours. So it was about 12 hours shy of meet, meeting that mark. But the mileage was higher, okay, because I had a little less idle time in that run. So that might have made some of the difference. But the fact is I took this Shell Rotella uh, as far as it would go and I do not ever add oil. I want to know what the oil's at. I never add a quart of oil. Had I added a quart of oil to this, I could have went another 50 hours, but I would have taken the test results and replenished them up a bit so it would have read better. I didn't want better. I wanted to know what it is at at that set time when I had to add the oil because that is a good indicator of whether or not that oil is serviceable at all for what you're doing. So, I ran that oil for uh, that 238 hours and 11,833 miles. Uh, the testing that I used was a pure later Boss filter, as with all my oil tests. That's all I use is the Boss, and it always, almost always gives me uh, 0.2 as far as uh, the uh, insolubles or particulate mixes in there that are in the, in the oil filter. So I have a consistent filtering across all oils and a consistent filter across all testing. So like I said, I ended that oil test up and uh, we got the lab test results here. So let's see what those wear metals were because this, this uh, Duratec is outstanding with it. Because this Duratec has 292,212 miles on it at the end of this test. It currently has over 294,000, going on 95,000 miles here real soon. So it is just trucking along. Now the aluminum in the oil was three parts per million. The chromium was zero. The iron was 
eight parts per million and the copper was three. This tied exactly to the Max Oil Pro Max Nano Plus 5W20. The wear metals were exactly the same. So that tells me the Shell Rotella and the, the Pro Max Nano Plus oil are really good oils because they both made it a long distance and a lot of hours. So that, what else did the Shell have here? We had zero lead in there, we had zero tin. And uh, we had molybdenum, that's right, 147 parts per million of the molybdenum. We had nickel of zero, manganese was one, silver was zero, titanium was one, potassium was, what was it, one, boron was 15, our silicon was 14, our sodium was six, our calcium was one, 1,460. Our magnesium was 453. Our phosphorus was 700 parts per million and our zinc was 843. Not too shabby for an oil with that many miles and hours on it. So this Shell Rotella held up. It did a decent job for what it was and for what it started out with. So I got to give kudos to that. And that Nano Plus is right there with it. So two great oils. If you haven't checked out the Nano Plus, uh, check out my oil test results in there. You just go right up here, you know, wherever it is. It'll be up here, yeah. Go right over here. I'll put a tag in there. You guys can check out that oil, too. You need to buy that stuff at Wally World. Uh, but uh, definitely two close competitors there. Uh, so, you know, great, great oil. But this Shell Rotella definitely held its own. But again, this is a uh, 30 weight, 5W30, and it's going to read in at 60 for the SUS viscosity. 60 flat on that. And the CST viscosity was 10.23. Not too shabby. They're both within specs for what they have to be. The flash point stayed pretty good, 415 degrees for flash point. Uh, I had less than uh, 0.5 fuel in there, and uh, antifreeze was zero, water was zero, insolubles, that filter's working good, 0.2, and then of course the TBN, total base number was 1.6. So uh, definitely at one is when you want to change the oil, so that's why they're saying, I could have went maybe another 50 hours and been topping right out at that one. And if I would have added oil, it would have brought the TBN up and I could have drove easily another 50 hours or more. So uh, if you want to drive it 15,000 miles, I guess if you add a quart of oil to it, it's going to rejuvenate it and you'll make it 15,000 miles because my oil filter only goes to 15,000 miles. So that's why I ended it and, and called it a day at that oil test. But overall, that was a pretty darn good test as far as the Shell Rotella. Uh, gas truck SUV 5W30. Pretty good torture test on it. I haven't seen anybody run their oils to this number of hours with this number of miles. So uh, let's uh, see what they have to say about this. But overall, my fee at the floor today, and I'm having a great day. I want you to have a great day too. And Band of One has some great music. Mercy Girls has a couple of one-liners. And don't forget to check out my uh, Facebook groups and my other YouTube channels. Oh, uh -huh.